Mr. Abbott again, and we're here for the conclusion of the weather front's activity. I hope you drew your ISO bars properly, so let's take a look at this, and we will finish up the shading of that low-pressure cyclonic storm system. So I'm looking at the two fronts that we found. There's a warm front and a cold front. Uh, we're looking for an ISO bar of 978. So I've got one, two, three stations of 978. Now, when ISO bars hit a front, they tend to bend. So I would think that this system, yours doesn't have to be exactly like this, but you do have to hit all three of them. And you have the center of your low here. I'm going to label this as 978 millibars, but it's recorded as 780 on the station model. 982, all right, here's an 820, which represents 982. It's going to dip down. I'm going to come across. I'm going to hit this 820 here. I just missed the 821, and this has to go up and around, and there's my second ISO bar for 982 millibars, All right? 986 is going to be 860, so when I look at it, there's an 860 here, an 860 here, all right? There's an 860 here, so my 986 is going to come like this. It's going to bend at the front. My 986 has to come here. All right. We hit the frontal boundary, and it tends to bend like that. All right. So we're going to label this one 986 millibars. We have a 990 up here. Your 990 has to come through this station probably goes off the map and then comes back through here. So this would be 990 millibars in those two places. Now, it's asking you to shade in where the precipitation is occurring. And this is relatively consistent. When you look at, you know, different fronts, if I show you like this part right there, the cross-sectional view, you tend to get heavy, dense clouds. You get cumulonimbus clouds. So you get short, heavy rain at and slightly behind the cold front. And if this is my warm front, you get precipitation ahead of the warm front. Okay, short and heavy for a cold front, slow and steady for the warm front. So on this map, if I'm shading in the areas, you're going to get a broad area of precipitation out here ahead of your warm front. The rain wraps around your low because the air rises in the center, but then you get a short heavy band of precipitation along the cold front. Now I do see that you've got two stations here that are shaded in and filled in and it indicates it's raining there. I honestly think that would be um, a sort of typo on this, that those stations probably wouldn't have those values recorded at them. So I'm going to disregard those, and we'll have to fix those for later. But this gives you the nice classic low-pressure cyclonic storm system with your maritime tropical between the fronts and your continental polar on the other side. Now, flipping this over, the last part of this activity that you have to do is it's asking you to draw five complete station models, and then label the fronts and the isobars afterwards. The only isobar that we definitely know is the one for 1004.0 for station A. So station A here, I would automatically label that as 1004.0 millibars. Honestly, you should know that you're going to drop the 10 and drop this. So this would be 040 as recorded on the station model. A um, couple of questions you might have. What does it mean to be clear? Clearer would be 0%. Overcast would be 100%. Partly cloudy is from 26 to 50%. But for this activity, we'll just say that 
the two that are partly cloudy, I'd like you to plot at 50%. So at this point, you should definitely have the skills to draw all five of the station models, label the isobars, and label the fronts. It's going to be a nice classic low pressure cyclonic storm system. Pause the tape and try it. I will give you a chance to look at an answer key. Um, so do your best. If you have questions or issues regarding this, you definitely should bring it up in class. But pause the tape, try. You should have a warm front and a cold front. And good luck. All right, here we go. This is a completed model for this low pressure cyclonic storm system. All right, you'll note that you should have had this as your cold front. Cold front gets short, heavy precipitation. The only station where precipitation is actually indicated was this station has gotten 0.31 inches of rain um, in the last six hours. The temperature is closest to the dew point which means the air is closest to being saturated. All right, when you look at these, you've got one, two, three, four, five station models that you should check. The lowest isobar is labeled 996, and you should have gone all the way up to 1,008 millibars there. But this low pressure cyclonic storm system is definitely going to be one of the keys for our understanding of weather. Okay, these storms, these systems tend to get tracked or moved across the United States from west to east due to the prevailing winds. Okay, so we're in the prevailing westerlies. Uh, the jet stream can also steer and guide the actual track for where these storms are. I hope that help you complete this activity and you have a good understanding of you know, warm fronts, cold fronts, stationary fronts, and occluded fronts, and definitely the low pressure cyclonic storm system. Take care.